Welcome to Leximation University. My name is Scott Prentice, and today I'll give you a quick overview of using DITA FMX, FMX Auto, and Auto FM to allow automated publishing of PDFs from DITA using FrameMaker. DITA FMX provides features to control the formatting and layout of a PDF generated from a DITA map. These features are easier to use than similar options you might find in other PDF creation tools. FMX Auto unlocks the API in DITA FMX so you can automate the book and PDF creation process. An FMX Auto installation includes the Auto FM plugin as one way to drive this automation. Auto FM is an XML based scripting tool for automating processes within FrameMaker. In this case, it is used to open a DITA map and run the DITA FMX map to book process to create a fully formatted FrameMaker book then save that book to PDF. The sample files I'm using are included with FMX Auto. Here are the batch files for each FrameMaker version and the Auto FM script. In the book folder, you'll see the DITA FMX book build any file, which specifies all of the properties for the generated book. In this sample, we use an unstructured frame file for the title page, which includes a graphic and some typical title page content. Even though this is an unstructured frame file, variables can be placed in this file that will be updated based on metadata in the DITA map. We'll do some simple DITAVAL filtering, so the DITAVAL file is also included. The DITA FMX book build process can apply different templates to each book component, as well as using special templates for each of the generated lists. Those are referenced by the book build any file and are stored in this folder. Here are the DITA files that make up this project. To show you how the title page content is affected by map metadata, I'll open this map and change a couple values. I'll make these edits using Oxygen, but you can use any XML editor. Now I'll open up the AutoFM script and walk you through its structure. The AutoFM script format is a very simple XML file with a logical structure. In this script, we start with the file element, which tells FrameMaker to open a DITA map file using a name structure application. Next is the action element that tells FrameMaker to run an FTK client named DITA FMX. Arguments are provided to run the map to book command with a named structure application and indicating where to place the generated book file. Then the book element opens the book file that was just created, saves it, then prints it to a PDF file using the Adobe PDF printer definition. You can specify all of the properties in the FrameMaker print dialog using the print element. After printing the file to a PDF, the book is closed. Next, the file element is used to select the DITA map and close that file. And finally, the exit element is used to exit FrameMaker. Now I'll run the batch file to kick off an automated build. This batch file passes the AutoFM file to the FrameMaker executable as a command line parameter. When FrameMaker sees an AutoFM file on startup, it processes the commands in that script. We briefly see the AutoFM script open in frame, then we see the DITA map, then the generated book starts to form. When the book build process has completed, the PDF generation starts. After that, FrameMaker is closed. For interactive use, the PDF is opened for us to review. This is an Acrobat setting. You wouldn't want this to happen if the build was running on a server. On the title page, you can see the version and date values have been updated based on the edits I made in the map. Some copyright information also pulled from the map. The table of contents, numbered chapters, related links, all of the typical formatting and features you expect in a PDF generated from DITA. All of the formatting and layout is handled by standard FrameMaker templates. This makes it very easy to maintain multiple templates for various projects. FrameMaker's generated list feature makes it easy to include additional lists in addition to the standard TOC and index. Here is a simple index. As you can see, FMX Auto can make it easy for you to get nice PDFs with minimal effort. 
You can use this tool even if your data files weren't authored in FrameMaker. Thank you for watching this video. More videos and information are available at leximation.com.